Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in learning data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on status crunch regarding count the number of movies that Abigail Breslin nominated for Oscar, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and this question has been asked in Netflix interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. Let the question reads: Count the number of movies that Abigail Breslin was nominated for an Oscar. Okay, so we are given a data frame called Oscar nominees, and our expected output is basically just one number, right? Basically, the number of different movies uh, Abigail Breslin was nominated for an Oscar, not won an Oscar. It it should be nominated for an Oscar. So if we you know look at this data frame Oscar nominees, right? And let's let's preview this. So you have different information. So year, category, uh, nominee, movie, winner, false or true, and then ID. Okay. So what we need to do is. You so you might be thinking one way to do this is you know what if we group by the nominee and then count from the movie column right for each of the person and then you know uh, do boolean indexing after that and make sure that okay wherever your nominee is equal to Abigail Breslin you just keep that however there is two problems with that firstly how will you count distinct movies it might be possible that you know this uh, data frame has duplicate rows right so how will you count because you know you you will have to you know use dot count method and how will you count distinct in that case secondly even if you do that right so that method is going to have a name of a column after you count right here you are only required to return a number there is no name of a column in this case right especially when we are doing this in python so to do this is what we can do is we can do, do the alternate route that is firstly let's apply a boolean indexing and keep only those rows where nominee is equal to abigail breslin right and then from the movie you know column count the number of different movies but not by using dot count by using n unique right so let's do it so from this uh, you know data frame oscar nominees let's apply boolean indexing so that is oscar nominees right oscar nominees from the column nominee right is equal to equal to abigail right breslin right let me run this let's see what we are getting so yeah if you look at it right we are only you know return those rows where the nominee is abigail breslin and now from this you know this data frame that we have been received then we can count from the movie column the number of unique values right so from the movie column right let's count number of unique values so n unique right let me run this so now if you see there is no column name and you know we are returned with only one number this matches expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it now let's see how the corresponding code looks like in my sequel if you look at it, you know, the question is same. However, if you look at the expected output in case of MySQL, now this has a name of a column, right? So again, what we can do is from this table called Oscar nominees, we are only, you know, going to keep those rows where nominee is equal to Abigail Breslin, right? Abigail Breslin. And then what we can do is, uh, you know, count the number of unique or distinct movies right so count the number of distinct movies so what we can do is return count of distinct movie and we need to alias this as in the expected output we have alias as n movies by abby so n movies by abby right let me run this let's see what we are getting so yeah, like, you know, if our output is same as expected output, let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases. So yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it. Again, not a very difficult question, very easy question, right? All we had to do was, you know, just keep those rows where the nominee is Abigail Breslin and then count the number of distinct movies. The difference was in while doing this in Python MySQL is that, you know, in Python, there was no column name that was required in the output. That is, we are only, you know, required to output a specific number. And that is why we went through the n unique method. And in MySQL, you know, we can have the name of a column. So that is why, you know, we just went through the normal procedure. So this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.